Lady Farina? What's Lady Farina doing here? Hello, all. Allow me to explain. As of today, Lady... Uh, Miss Farina will be supporting our production of the Little Oceanid in the role of Artistic Consultant. These two over here are the ones that made it possible. They kindly reached out to Miss Farina on our behalf. I'm sure they need no introduction. You bet! That was the trial of the century! You helped bring our director's murderer to justice. We can't thank you enough. Oh, please don't mention it. We're just here to join in on the fun. So, you were saying... The Little Oceanid? Yeah, that's the name of our final show. It's an unfinished script left behind by our director. One of our greatest regrets is that she never got to complete it. So, if we can bring it to the stage and make it a successful show, we can all take some solace in that. Wait, but if it's not finished, then... Yeah, we've been battling issues on every front trying to realize this dream. Anyway, let me give you a quick summary of what the story's all about. The protagonist of the story is a young Oceanid who transforms herself into human form, despite the protests of her family. She longed to live just like any other human, and sure enough, she found friendship and even love. Everything seemed perfect. But one day, her true identity was exposed, and her world came crashing down around her. So far, so good. A classic tale. What happened after that? That's one of the issues we've been trying to deal with. Unfortunately, this was as far as the director got with her script. We need a proper ending so we can bring this musical to the stage. But people have different opinions on which direction to take it in. We still haven't decided between a happy ending or a true-to-life tragedy. By true to life, you mean the director's sudden disappearance? Yeah, like they say, truth is stranger than fiction. But then there's the question of whether we really want to use the stage to pass our raw pain onto the audience. Exactly. A lot of the time, people come to watch a show just hoping for some light entertainment. We have to consider their emotional stake in this, not just our own. And one last thing, we're still waiting on confirmation from two of our main actors. The first is Paulo, who plays the protagonist's lover. He's locked himself away to focus on writing an ending for the script, but the deadline's passed and we still haven't heard from him. The other is Vilmon, who plays the main antagonist. He took the director's death pretty hard, hasn't set foot in the city since. He did write to us, promising that he'll be there for the final performance, but we haven't seen or heard from him since, so we're not really sure what to make of that. Huh. Although, now that we have Miss Farina helping us, maybe we should take the opportunity to get everyone back together. What opportunity? What do you mean? <laughs> maybe you're unaware, but your name has always been like a rallying cry for us. Our director was constantly singing your praises. All of us look up to you as a role model. <laughs> oh, stop! You're making me all flustered. <laughs> Although, <laughs> not in a bad way. Um, I suspect the reason they're dragging their feet is that they have their doubts about whether the show will really go ahead, considering all the issues you've been facing. But one by one, all the obstacles are being removed. Now is the time to rally the troops. Makes sense. Okay, priority number one, let's check in with Paulo and see where he's at with the ending. He went back to Poisson a few days ago, said that staying in a friend's home might help him to relax and escape the feeling of isolation. I thought the last thing his friend would want right now would be to take visitors, given that Poisson was flooded not too long ago. But... I guess it's the opposite. A friend in need and all that. Yeah, maybe you could use some company. Poisson? Nothing. 
I suppose my presence will be indispensable if we are to restore his faith in the show. So, allons-y. To Poisson! You're off to Poisson to find Paulo, right? Have a safe trip. We'll take care of the troop while you're gone. Pressure's on now. We gotta make sure we're fully prepared. <laughs> 